All right, so KBI, I couldn't wait to file up my nails until class on Monday because I have a movie premiere to go to tonight. So I am going to show you just up close here and personal a little bit on how to file out the overlays that we did at class last week. So you can see I started to file out my thumb, but I want to show you right here where there's a low spot. So low spots happen because we're a little bit short on the acrylic and just put not quite enough to build up that center. You can see here how it is um, has that dip in it. So also low spots look a little bit more clearish, whereas the area around it looks more white. So we're going to just even it out a bit. I'm going to thin out as well, narrow out this wide nail groove that is bugging me and I did manage to almost go the whole week without filing out my nails and the problem with that is that then you don't have a fine edge around the cuticle and you tend to want to pick. So the most important thing with your filing out your acrylics is that you want to keep them narrow and highest in the middle so we don't want to file flat we don't want to start filing on the top side we want to file on the sides both sides first and then coming up around to narrow and slenderize especially because these nails are pretty short because of my aesthetic teaching class right now and then we'll come up around that cuticle line make sure that your file is inside of the cuticle Eponychium here is not getting filed away just a little bit and then let's just brush off this dust so you can see a little bit more on this side this side kind of flowed into my nail groove so let's start to narrow it down if I had my electric file, that might be a little bit easier, but sometimes you don't see what you're doing with electric files when you're learning, so I'm just going to show you how to file first with the nail file. Then I'm going to start to come up a little bit to the center of the nail, so that then you can see where we almost got rid of this flat spot in the middle. It's a little bit there still it would have been much easier to have just added a dab of acrylic. I'm just kind of being quick about this because we have a movie premiere to go to. So, I am not going to leave them cloudy like this. I want to glaze them. Then let's shape the edge. Free edge here. Let's see if I can get rid of this low spot. Filing a little bit more at the tip to bevel it out, which means to slender, make it slope down like a hill. Kind of filing away here, just about filed away through at the white. So we, I did get rid of the slope, the low spot here. Let's just find this cuticle line. It's probably going to chip away. There we go. All right, that's good. Shape it in a little bit more. And then I'm going to proceed. So I'm just going to fly through this really quick and then show you the finished product. But remember, start filing the free edge first so that you have the length 
exactly where you want it and then start from the side walls coming straight up both sides just to narrow them down so that there's no product in those nail grooves and then start to come up tapering to the center and then the right side tapering up to the center and then blend the two in together kind of like seesawing it and then go around the cuticle then bevel the tip and the free edge so that we don't have any thickness there and yeah it kind of needs a fill it's grown out already in one week so I just didn't put thick enough in at the cuticle line when I did the overlay in class last week Okay, and then this one is my injured finger, so it's always got a split, and I did the white a little bit too narrow, so I'll fix that in class tomorrow, uh, Monday. But let's just get the shine up. Okay, let's just show you my little baby one. This is going to chip away. I could file it out with the drill, it would be the best. Let's just see if I can do it with a little bit of my black file without slicing my finger out. Thank you. 